scooter. It has the Ruckus style on it. The Chinese name is Dong Fang. Uh, sold by Sunny Sports, Scooter Depot, US. US. Uh, cost on this was about around a thousand, including shipping. So that's basically where it is. First thing you would do is just open up your box here and just make sure check for any damage. Uh, you actually want to do that before the shipping company leaves. Um, that way you can just mark it down on the invoice and uh, contact the company. If you don't see any initial damage here, then uh, that's a good sign. So now we've unboxed some more here. You can see kind of the design. And um, we're just getting the metal housing now cover off. You can access it better. But you can see we have a little back storage here, which probably won't add front fender. We have the wheel and um, we'll leave this on to see cover while we work on it. So we'll give you step by step basically how you want to build it. Alright, so step one here is we want to look at the handlebars on the bike. And when you do that, basically you want to get there's your headlight and you want this on your left hand side, stop starter uh, ignition on your right side. So what you want to do is you get all your wires, this little hole right here, and we're going to take these bolts off and this is what we're going to do to mount the bolts down. Um, so I'm going to do that right now and I'll show you that afterwards. Alright, so you can see here we get the bolts um, in now, just two so far, and do the ne next couple. And we're also going to basically put, be putting the battery in that's going to go into this compartment. So we're going to open that up. There's some hinges down here. you got screw here, screw here. Two screws on the top, two screws on the side. Take that out. And next next thing we do is get the battery installed. So two screws right here in the front um, that you want to make sure you get. And then the piece comes out. Now the battery is going to rest basically right here. So make sure you put your acid in and let that charge up uh, for a good amount of time before you install the battery. Do the tire. So what we're doing is take the bolt off of the left side here. How you want to line this up? Get disc brake right here. So you see there's a spacer right there. We're going to slide that in here. Then we have this piece right here that's going to connect right here. And what we're going to do is have one person lift up, and the other person slide the bolt out, and then get the wheel in. Take it off this frame and put the kickstand Alright, now we've got a kickstand here, so it's a lot easier to work with. So now we have the bolt here, this brick on the side, speedometer right here. And what we're going to do is lift it up. And actually, there's a piece of plastic that we handed me to get out first. So now we can slide this brake between there. Basically, we're going to get this, lift it up just a little bit more. Wiggle it around a little bit. Okay, you can kind of feel as it goes through. It's getting to the end point. Let's see if it comes out in there. Okay, it's a little tough to get through this last part. Hold that, I'll get you the, the, the rubber mallet. Okay. Here we are. Alright, now you knock it back. So we gotta get it uh just now it's a tool. Okay, here we go. So now it's past that point, I'm going to line it all up. Okay. Make sure it's 
Yes. Okay. Right. Sweet. Now I'm gonna put the bolt in. Make sure you don't de-thread it. Okay. Make sure that's nice and tight. And you want to check that after you've done a couple of runs because sometimes it gets loose again. Looks like it. Okay, so now we're going to put the fender on. We'll just take these bolts out. It's going to go from behind here. And do we'll just put it in by hand. And tighten it up with a wrench. Get the washer on the outside. Here, make it away. And that's just going to bolt like that on there. What we're going to do is now is we're going to put our mirrors on. So just put them on right here like this. And take your wrench and basically tighten the bolt up. Show where you want it. All right, so we're taking the, the covers off of these because there's a plastic wrap here, as you can see. You leave that on. It's going to bake right to the front of that light and really mess your light up. So make sure you take that off before you uh, turn the head headlights on. So to do that, you got screw here, screw right here, and then two on the bottom. Pass it up. Basically, you take your key. Take this latch off, take the plastic off, and you can just screw that. Just make sure you fill the gas up. So we definitely want to check the oil before you go in and make sure it's full. Basically, you screw it right there, clean it off, and that's basically where it should be. Pull it out, check it. You know, it's going to be level. Oh, yeah, you also have to make sure it's level. And you can see it's full. So that's important before you take off. And just check overall your, all your screws, your bolts, especially your tires. Make sure they're nice and tight. If you want to be going down the road and a tire falls off, that'd be very bad. And so we're going to start it up after I put the battery in. And sometimes it doesn't turn on first try, so you might have to let it sit there for a little while before it's going to turn on. I'm going to put the, we'll get the battery mounted in with the two straps here. Put the red on first. Put the little bolt in. And just get one screwed in first. And then we'll get the black. We just turned it on first time, check the lights. Pretty cool. And here we go, we're gonna try to turn it on. And you can hold the brake. It's going to take a while because there's no gas in there right now, so you really have to Check everything. Lose that. Mm. 
Very good. So the build process is probably about a half an hour to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending if you've never built this before. And uh, just has enough brakes out. Get a disc brake in the front, drum brake in the rear. We'll give you a full review once we've put it together and been riding it for a couple weeks. Just uh, tell you the pros and cons of it. All right, thanks for watching.